Welcome friends, it's Miss Gisa. Today we're going to read a story called Samsoon and Farewells. It's written by a Korean American author named Soon Joon Kim. And she also did the illustrations. Samsoon and Mimi were best friends. Mimi greeted Samsoon with a huge smile each day, wagging her tail. In springtime, Samsoon and Mimi watched their grandmother harvest various plants from their garden to make delicious vegetable soup, perfect for the sunny weather. On weekends, Grandma stained Samsoon's nails with flower butts. In summer, Mimi curiously watched Grandma and Samsoon enjoy delicious yellow melons in their garden. On weekends, Samsoon and Mimi rode on Grandma's scooter to visit their favorite family beach. In autumn, Grandma baked chestnuts and sweet potatoes in their fireplace. Once winter arrived, Grandma prepared steaming dumplings and spicy rice cakes. One spring afternoon, Samsoon returned from school and could not find Mimi. Samsoon looked inside her bedroom and the road to school, but could not find Mimi anywhere. Grandma, where is Mimi? asked Samsoon. Samsoon, Mimi went back to her family, Grandma replied. As the flowers outside Samsoon's family garden continued to blossom, Samsoon missed Mimi. While cleaning, Samsoon found a drawing of Mimi and Grandma in her bedroom. As she cleaned some more, Samsoon discovered Mimi's blanket inside Grandma's closet. That night, in Samsoon's dream, Samsoon and Mimi collected stones like the past summers with Grandma at their favorite beach. The next day, Grandma started preparing Samsoon's favorite food, Korean sushi. As Grandma cooked, Samsoon drew her favorite family memories with Mimi. Samsoon turned towards Grandma with pained eyes. Grandma, how many more nights will I have to sleep to meet Mimi again? Will it be ten nights? Grandma hugged Samsoon and pointed to the cloudy sky outside their bedroom window. Samsoon, do not be in pain. There will be many more departures in your life, just like your departure with Mimi. Rather than seeing each departure as permanent goodbyes, treat them as natural farewells. Look at the clouds, exclaimed Grandma. The clouds say hello and goodbye to each plant, tree, and bird while moving forward gracefully. Just like our clouds, we encounter each farewell gracefully. Now, let's go to the beach, Grandma concluded cheerfully. I hope you enjoyed those gorgeous and soothing illustrations and this beautiful book. I look forward to reading you a new book soon. Thank you for joining me today. Remember to like and subscribe to support our channel.